No, I don't know what mangroves are. No so idea. mangroves are a very uh, important tree here in Florida that is both water resistant and salt resistant. Okay. So there are three different species of mangroves found here in Florida, black, white, and red. They're all green, so. <laughs> but there are some differences between the two. Red, for example, Right. crop roots stilt up almost like stilts and they grow right near the water's edge so those are red mangroves in that picture right there okay so these ones yep and actually most of the trees in here like these ones with the roots along the top those are red mangroves cool black mangroves are the next one they're a little bit more inland they have roots that stick out from the ground like this almost like a snorkel to help them breathe in the mud not these ones we'll get to these in just a minute oh, okay and then red mangroves, or white mangroves, excuse me, are the farthest inland. And you see this tree over here with like the roundish leaves? Yeah, 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 right so there. that's a white mangrove. White mangroves look the most like regular trees. Gotcha. Now, mangroves are very important here in Florida for two primary reasons. One, they act as a nursery ground for baby fish. So fish that are important both commercially and to the sport fishing industry come in amongst these roots to have their babies. The reason why is because the baby fish hanging out in the underwater roots. Is that why these are hanging out over there? Yep. Baby fish that hang out there are safer from larger predators like sharks uh... that might be cruising on the outside of the mangroves. Birds also use their trees as nesting sites, as many uh, can be seen in here. Now, another thing that they do is more specifically for us. Now, when hurricanes move through this area, powerful storm surges are sent up and down uh... these channels. Mangroves, in a way, using the roots almost pulled onto the shoreline, like keeping it fastened in place. So any storm surge that comes down, the roots help prevent it from being washed away. That's why Florida actually has special laws and regulations in place that prevent you from chopping down or cutting back your mangroves, specifically for that reason. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the way that they reproduce is a little bit different from other plants. So most plants, a seed hits the ground and it starts to germinate inside the soil. Mangrove seeds, also known as propagules, will start to germinate while they're on the parent tree. Then they drop off. Some of them will land in the mud right next to the main tree. Oh, so they grow on other trees. So they, when the, so you know how trees will start producing seeds that drop yeah. and then grow? So same thing with these but they start, the seed starts to grow before even dropping down from the tree. Oh, so that way it's like uh, more likely to sort survive. Sort of already ready to go. So these are actually propagules, little mangrove seedlings. So they're water resistant and salt resistant. So some of them will land in the soil right next to the parent tree, but some of them, because they're also watertight, some can float in the water for up to a year until yeah. it finds a new shoreline to grow on. So potentially, a mangrove that falls off of a tree here in Tampa, Florida, could be carried all the way down to, say, Cancun, Mexico, and then grow there. So this is part of what the Florida Aquarium does to help conserve mangroves. Our mangroves that we have in here, we collect their propagules that they produce. We donate them to different uh, facilities that might be using them for different programs, and some of them help grow in the wild to make new batch of mangroves grow so that new animals can start to move into those areas. Cool. Being a salt resistant and water resistant tree, being able to manage your salt levels is incredibly important. Like us, we have to manage the amount of salt in our body. Salt is essential to most living things, but too much of it can be very dangerous. So for the mangrove, they take in a lot of salt, and all of them have different ways to get rid of excess salt. So black mangroves, for instance, might secrete salt from the underside of their leaves so that it leaves their bodies. Now, red mangroves are one of, are one of the coolest things uh, that they do is when they have excess salt in their body, they move it to a leaf, like they store it in their leaves, and then they drop that leaf. Oh. Dropping all the salt that was inside. That's their really smart. Well. Mm -hmm. And this helps them manage the amount of salt that's in their body so that they don't dry up. Oh, that is really cool.